Well, good morning. It is day two on our overhaul project and I'm keeping with it pretty well. So far, I have waken up correctly at 6 a.m. So that's looking good. And get my little bit of exercise in now, two glasses of water, bulletproof coffee, and some time to read. There are delicious coffee beans down there. You'll just have to trust me. We have these delicious coffee beans. Just clicked on the water boiler. It was my trigger to do my push-ups and my other exercises. So, I've found that yoga in the mornings, even just four or five poses real quick, significantly helps my posture throughout the day and reduces back pain if I'm sitting at a chair all day. Just generally, it helps me feel better. <laughs> What's up, Doc? About 1.30 in the afternoon and I've already logged 2,500 steps. So about halfway to my goal today. My, my, look at how beautiful this weather is. I mean, it's just gorgeous out here. You wouldn't believe it's like 35 degrees and still freezing cold. It is four o'clock on Friday, right in the middle of rush hour. And I decided to go for a drive. Yeah, that was dumb. I really like bananas. So, met my steps goal for the day, did all of my normal overhaul stuff this morning, got plenty of time for reading, which was awesome, spent plenty of time planning out the rest of my day, which was good as well, got a very large video edited today as well, which was awesome, also managed to meet my steps goal. I am at 5,432 steps and will most likely be at 6,000 before the end of the night. So that'll be good. Oh yeah, we gotta get a project done today. Okay, what am I gonna do? Yeah, I don't know. Um, hmm. So I was gonna bring you along for the build process on this, but that just didn't quite happen. All right, so many of you remember from my previous video, this spring here that I made. And I just kind of wound this one by hand and it did all right for some quick tests, but it was a pain in the butt to make and the coiling was super inconsistent. So to combat that, I built this, which is just a little winding jig. So generally you poke the piece of wire in between here and then there's a hole in this dowel that the wire goes through and you crank the handle here. Overall, it does a reasonable job, but I'm having difficulties removing the spring. I end up with some garbage that looks like this when I go to remove it. I mean, it's like the worst slinky tangle you've ever had. And so I have to figure that out. But once I figure out how to remove them appropriately, I should be getting much more consistent springs like this 
well, even more consistent springs than this, because it coils them up so smoothly on this dowel. So I'm hoping that once I figure this out, or maybe make a better one, they, they will come out even more consistent than that. Uh, and it comes from being able to remove them. So generally to remove them, you like unhook them, let them unwind, and then pull this back to retrieve the spring. But somewhere in there, it gets really tangled, typically when I'm trying to unwind it a little bit to let go some of the tension so that I can then remove everything. So I don't exactly have an amazing game plan for either repairing this or maybe I just need to practice with it a little bit more. I'm not entirely sure, but that's definitely coming up tomorrow. Tomorrow, I'm going to be doing my absolute best to perfect making little coil-style hairsprings. Sorry for having to edit out most of the build process on that. I just, I couldn't quite get the camera in at the right angle, and I just kept getting frustrated, and it took like four or five different tries, and then I put the glue on the wrong side, and then I glued it up wrong, and then I had to peel it all back apart, and it was an absolute disaster. So, that's it for today. Uh, I will see you again tomorrow, and I will really dial in this whole videoing and editing process soon enough. Oh, I just got my lip. Oh.